It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Let's do some Guild War training. Actually, before we do the training, let's uh, let's clap Jin here. This is Jin from last week. See, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight in the barracks because uh, this is the this is the downside for Guild War planning for high end guilds. Because you think, be like, oh, Charlie, you got assigned to the barracks. You should take this attack. No, no. You should not take this attack, guys. It's the same team. I know I can beat this team. We got a 903k. 903k last week versus this hero. She's improved by about 3,000. I know I could beat this team. I know I can beat this team. But I'm not going to attempt it yet. And why? Because our guild generals want us to not open new buildings until old buildings are complete. Specifically, the Foundry, the Citadel, then the Lighthouse, and the Barracks. But we're saving the Mage Academy and the Barracks until after the Lighthouse. And then even then, we're not attacking the Lighthouse until the Citadel is completely down, right? Take down the Foundry and the Citadel first, and then work on the Lighthouse, then the Barracks, then the Mage Academy. What does holding off do? Good question. So why would I hold off? Why would I hold off? If, for some reason, the people that are assigned to Dirtbag and Bugs Bunny and Ender J, if they can't clear these in one attack, then I need to finish these off. It's better to finish the Citadel, even if it takes twice as many attacks, than it would be for me to start the Lighthouse and to start the Barracks. Whoever, whoever did this fight versus Josh shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. It's better to finish the Citadel because of the reward, 80 points, than the 40 points, 40 points for the Lighthouse, 40 points for the barracks. So if we don't finish the Citadel and we don't finish the lighthouse and we don't finish the barracks, then we're way less power, uh, way less points than we had before. You want to finish the Citadel before you move on to the uh, lighthouse and the barracks. Citadel's 120. Oh, yep, 120. So it's three times as many. It's the same amount of teams, six teams. I absolutely cannot count. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven teams compared to six, but it's triple the point value. Yeah, that's why you hold off. That's so I have my targets here. I have my targets. And I do need to train against Foghorn Leghorn here. This is the Looney Tunes guild. <laughs> I do need to train against Foghorn Leghorn. So let's uh let's give it a shot. Uh 751. Yeah. Um I I mean, let's just go with what I think usually works, and that's uh that's this line right here. I shouldn't have any trouble with this line using this team right here. We're just gonna do auto mode because I'm fairly confident. I just beat a a 970k version of this team. The Foghorn Leghorn's actually 760. I shouldn't have any issue just wrecking this team. A lower level Kark could be a problem, but I'm not I'm not worried about this at all. I'm not worried about this at all. Shouldn't have any issue with it. We can do some more testing if if you if you like again. But guys, if you are a champion in the Guild War and you have a flow chart for how buildings need to be brought down. Even though I have these assignments right here, I'm not going to attack these assignments. And you shouldn't either. There's another five and a half hours or four hours or whatever we have left. Yeah, four and a half hours left in the day. I'll come back later. I'll come back later once the Citadel's cleared and drop the rest and drop the rest.